Good morning, how are we doing? <coughs> it is Sunday morning, so just uh, yesterday we were at a menopause conference, most of the Fruity Fit team were here, and wanted to just touch base on a few things, which we'll be going over in our free five day um, kickstart this week, where we will be going over a lot around training, around uh, perimenopause, premenopause, perimenopause, postmenopause, and some of the things that we might want to consider nutritionally as well. But one of the key take takeaway, I'll put a link around here. One of the key takeaways I want to kind of share from this is that a lot of the things stay the same in terms of <clears throat> the recommendations around making sure we get enough protein to make sure that we're fuller for longer, to make sure that we're recovering well, to make sure that we're, we're recovering from potential exercise, to make sure skin, hair, nails, you name it. The recommendations around achieving a certain calorie amount depending on our goal similar but the one key thing is that there's less room for error due to these hormonal changes so we might just need to go 10 times on the things that we know work like making sure we get large enough protein boluses if you like protein portions at each meal and if we can spread them throughout the day that's probably going to be a good thing for recovery, potentially symptoms, how we feel, our energy, and similar with carbohydrates. And you think about the meal maker portion size guide that we talk about a lot, like at least you know, hand sized portion of protein or so, fist sized carb, uh, lots of veggies at each meal. You're probably going to be there or thereabouts um, with that. And, and actually, one of the things that was quite interesting was how fasting for too long periods. Now, you know, if someone says I fast, but it's 14 hours, that, that could be like going to bed or having your last meal at seven and then eating your breakfast at nine, like that kind of isn't nothing crazy, right? And that's where it gets a bit confusing sometimes, I think, because we talk about fasting and we say like, oh yeah, it's good to need to fast. And then I get hungry in the morning. But actually they might be talking about 14 hours, which is just a normal amount, which might suit you, might not. But one of the key things is that there is less room for error. So if we can do the things that are gonna that we know work, but maybe on 10 times, like resistance exercise, like protein every meal, like making sure we're not skimping on all carbs all the time, but making sure we have good balance in our meals, not ultimately restricting foods, we're probably gonna be better off than jumping from crazy diet to crazy diet. So I hope that helps. We'll be jumping in this in a lot more detail with the five days. Short, simple workouts where you can start to fit in resistance exercise into your daily routine. Nutrition, everything you need to know, everything you need to debunk as well over the five days. And 10 minute task each day, 10 minute workout, job done. Plus I'll be live in the evening to answer any questions you've got. Comment below um, with menopause if you'd like to join on that. We start tomorrow, but I'll be introducing the group live tonight. Have an awesome Sunday. And I'll